And then for my final star chocolate combo, I'm going for the hazelnut one and I'm going for a red giant. Now red giant stars are what the sun might evolve into when it's finished fusion in its core. What happens there is you then kind of get a collapse of the core, it draws in more hydrogen to fuse, and then you get a fusion of hydrogen in a shell around that, which is actually a bigger volume than it was originally. It causes a greater outward pressure, which makes the star kind of swell up and it becomes a red giant. You then end up with kind of layering inside. So depending on the size of the star, you might get a different layer fusing and then it filters down to the next one. So it's a bit like an onion inside. It's a lot more complex internal structure than maybe something like a different star. And with this, we've got obviously milk chocolate, We've then got hazelnut. Now, I haven't eaten quite a few of these before I did this video. They don't have a solid hazelnut in the center. Instead, it's kind of little bits of hazelnut scattered kind of throughout the outer part. So it's an extra flavor that adds complexity to the chocolate, which can kind of match the complexity of a red giant in its layering, the fact that it's puffed up. It's no longer fusing hydrogen in its core. It's doing it kind of a little bit further out. So that's kind of why I've gone for this. You know, if I actually have a look inside of this, it's not good to represent that layering that we're on about, but it's more kind of about the actual flavor itself, which is a bit more complex. You've got more things going off there. You've got different layers that might be fusing and filtering down. So maybe you've got a helium fusing shell outside of, or should I say inside of a hydrogen fusing shell. So you've got kind of, treat those as different flavors, I suppose, in the chocolate. So I believe this one has melted quite a bit. Again, we're pretty hot here in the UK at the moment. So we'll have a look. And from what I remember, it has got little bits of hazelnut inside. It hasn't got that big hazelnut inside, which I kind of like actually. So. Very soft, mostly because it's kind of melted. But then you've got little bits of hazelnut inside again. They might represent some of those different layers, different flavors can then work like that.